guys, this is Joel from Digital Phantom and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a bitmap image into a vector image. Now this is pretty useful when you're converting um, logos or when using logos and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to show you an example here. Here you can see uh, that's my logo. So I have two logos, this one and this one. This one is a bitmap format PNG and this one is a vector image, a vector logo uh, with format SVG. Now to show you the difference I'm going to zoom in so you can see the difference. Now once you start zooming in you can see the difference. These edges get pixelated. These ones are straight up. They're straight. There's nothing pixelated there. It's just straight. It's good quality. I'm assuming a little bit more and you can see this one the same quality as before whereas this one is losing the quality of it look so you don't want to have that you want your logo to be in a vector format so you can scale it up scale it down without losing the quality of it let's go to the vector one and you see the difference now I'm not going to show you this it's who cares about this logo? I mean, you're not watching this video to watch me convert my logo. But instead, um, I'm going to show you something different. So I came across this NASA website and I found a picture that was pretty interesting. This one is the map of the world. And you see there that um, it has pretty nice quality. You see the uh, the edges of the continents and stuff like that and they're pretty good but the bad thing is that if you want to use this in another project then it's gonna be a little tricky because this format is a bitmap image I mean this image is a bitmap uh, the format is a GIF um, so so we don't want to use this we want to convert this into a vector image but that's gonna be done pretty easily using Inkscape. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Inkscape is, Inkscape is a free open source uh, vector editing software, vector graphic editing software. So let's get into it. Just right click and copy the image and let's open uh, Inkscape. Now you see here this is Inkscape so I'm just gonna right click, paste. Now have the bitmap image inside uh, Inkscape. To convert this into a vector image it's pretty easy. Select the image and go to click on path then trace bitmap and you will get this dialog box. Now in this dialog box in this case I'm going to use the brightness cutoff as a criteria and I'm just going to click OK and just close it and the magic is done. It has converted the bitmap image into a vector image. Now to prove this, I'm going to change the background to red and as you can see the background changed to red. I'm going to move this to the right. This one on the right is the vector image and this one is the bitmap image. For now I'm going to delete the bitmap because I don't need it anymore and that left leaves me with the vector image alone and this is what I want. I want to get this image and save it and then use it later but as you can see if you zoom in you don't lose the quality of the edges although it's not perfect quality I mean if you wanna have more quality you need to edit go ahead and edit it you directly by hand as you can see those are all the nodes that it generated automatically but if you wanna have more quality you can just go ahead and edit them but this is fine for our purpose. Now what I want to do is uh, resize the canvas so it's the same size as the side of the image. And that's done pretty easily. Um, you can select the image and click on File, Document Properties, then uh, expand this where it says Resize Page to Content and click where it says Resize Page to Drawing or Selection. And that does it automatically. It automatically fits to the right size. So I'm just going to close this. I'm going to save it. Save. And I'm going to save 
that has map that SVG. Again, SVG is a vector graphic, uh, so um, a vector graphic format. And SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, for those of you who don't know. And I'm going to change the color to dark gray. I'm going to save it. So now this is done. Uh, this is the end of this tutorial, but we're going to use this in a future tutorial in which we're going to create um, the world. It's going to be rotating in After Effects in a video, and it's going to be for a video background that you can use where you have chroma keying and you remove the green screen and you can put this in the background and it loops itself. So, see you guys next time.